Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Come join me on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to look at the problems with the latest version of Premiere and trying to open that particular project in an earlier version of Premiere. Now, a lot of people will get the same thing where the project just won't open. What do you do about that? How do you get around it? Well, here's one way of getting around it using XML. If you see here, we've got a, a Premiere project, okay? And you can see down the bottom right-hand corner where my mouse is, you can see this is opened up in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021, okay? Good, that's what I wanted, but I also, on my dock, have Adobe Premiere 2020. So I'm gonna show you now what's gonna to happen to this particular project when I open it in Premiere Pro 2020. So let's just close this project down. I'm now gonna find that same project. There's that same project, but I wanna now manually open Premiere 2020. So it's a fresh, fresh opening. So not from a project. Okay, once it opens, we should have the option to see the open project. Go to the open project. Let's navigate to that project. I know that it's in here. I know that it's in here. I know that it will be in the projects. And it's in this test, so it's going to be XML. Click on that, open, and then you'll see this. This project was saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere Pro and cannot be opened in this version. That's exactly what I expected to happen and probably what you lot have seen many, many times before. Click OK. We can't go any further in this version, so let's just quit Premiere Pro. Now let's open up the Premiere Pro project. But it's going to default to the 2021, isn't it? Because that's how it's tagged. It's going to open up in Premiere 2021. So let's just wait and see. OK, here's the project opening up, and it's in Premiere Pro 2021. So here's your project, and this media management here is going to be really important to you, isn't it? All of your edits, all of your media. You need that to come across into the new project via the XML. And the way that we're going to do that is this. We're going to click in the uh, browser, so it'll be lit blue, and then go Command and A to select all of those folders. Jump up to File, Export, Final Pro XML. It's now going to simplify the project. OK, I want to choose a location. I'm going to choose the desktop for the location, and I'm going to put V2 on here. I made a previous version of that. So the XML is being saved. What you'll see is this can take a little bit of time, so don't panic. If your project is large, it may take a little while. Um, you'll end up seeing this, exporting FCP um, XML, and eventually a little blue bar will start to cascade through this. There we go. And you'll see this translation report. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Good. We're done. So we should be able to save and quit Premiere Pro 2021. My previous version is going to be... Premiere Pro 2020, but you might be using 19 or 18, but that's fine, it still works. Open up 2020. Now Premiere Pro 2020 is opened, we have to do one rather important thing, and that's create a new project, okay? It's completely new, and we're going to call this test XML v2, because I've already made one version of this, and it's going to go to the desktop, click OK, and a blank project should now open. You're, of course, going to call it your project name, okay? Here we go, it's opened. Now, in Premiere, as we all know, whichever selection you're clicking, there'll be a little blue box highlighted. We wanna to go to the browser again. Right click, import. Now we need to navigate to the XML that we made. And the XML is living on the desktop, and we know that it is this one. It was my version two, wasn't it? Okay, there we go dot xml import okay so this box is going to pop up and it may take a little bit of time a few minutes uh, but don't worry don't worry if it doesn't do anything or cool, there's no import bar it will work so don't panic don't hit cancel just leave it and if you wait a couple of minutes you wait a couple more it will work just wait okay so what's happened here is this link media box has appeared and i've got some offline images here but they're not really relevant to this project so you may not have anything but i know that these are coming from a different area so i'm not too worried about that i'm gonna go offline all but now you can see my project has appeared my edits my media all the correct media management structure if i go into the edits and just pick a particular edit open that sequence up and here we go i've got media 
that the sound. It's worked. The XML from 2021 to 2020 has worked. The project has worked. Now it's best to save this project now. And what you do need to remember is you're now working on a new project. This is a new project. If you wanna go back to open this up in 2021, it will allow you to do that automatically. It will just upstep it. But if you ever wanna go back again, you will need to have uh, to make an XML uh, uh, file. Um, just another note as well, you may find that you see the little things like this. This is an effect or a, a text file that came from 2021. There's obviously been an upgrade where this particular text file hasn't come through. You may notice a couple of little effects that might not look the way that you remember, but they're pretty obvious to spot. I hope you've enjoyed that video and I'll catch you next time. If you liked that video, please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.